real action. Because where I'm cooking at home today, I'm cooking at work. And this time around, we're doing volume food uh, quantities. So this today, we're gonna make a special soup for the residents. And we're gonna feed the entire 120 plus residents that we have in here. So this is actually my favorite uh, kettle here. So, um, this is where we uh, uh, close our kettle. And here's the inside of it. And uh, this is actually like a 50 gallon uh, uh, steam kettle. So I'm just gonna turn this on and this is where we're gonna cook our special uh, soup for tonight. My dear friends, so these are the ingredients that we're gonna be using for our special soup for our residents tonight. So here, we're gonna be using uh, Merpois blend. This is just up to the a combination of uh, diced onions, celery, and carrots. This is one of my favorite uh, vegetables to use. They're in one pack. All right, we're also gonna be using cream soup base just to thicken and make our soup uh, taste creamier. And we're gonna be using a cooked uh, chicken here. They're already diced, all right? And uh, we're gonna be using one piece of this size of margarine. And of course, to make our uh, soup uh, tastier, we're gonna use this uh, in English. In English, heavy cream. Uh, this is like we call the heavy whipped cream. In Espanol, they say it crema espesa. All right, so we're gonna be using two of these. So what else are we waiting for guys? Let's go and cook it, right? Now let's gonna put our uh, butter in there. And while melting, we can actually put now our uh, Merpois blend in there. So we have two bags. All right, so let's just brown it a little while and then we're gonna put some uh, water in there to uh, cook this vegetable. Alright, so uh, our butter is uh, melted now and uh, our vegetable looks okay. So now let's go pour in our chicken, diced chicken. So we're putting the entire bag. There you go. And then, uh, let's stay for uh, five uh, minutes, my dear friends. Uh, back there, we're gonna dissolve our cream soup base. So you need a bowl for this. All right. And then pour in about two quarters of uh, water. Make sure it's cold water, okay? And then using a whisk. So make sure you melt them properly and then we're gonna pour this later on our soup. This will make our soup kind of thicker. By the way, uh, if you're gonna ask me, most cream soup that I make, I don't really make it so uh, thick. I want it a little thin. So it's up to you guys. If you want it thicker, then put more of this base. Or in fact, I would suggest the uh, cornstarch will help uh, thicken your soup too, all right? Okay guys, it's about time to uh, add water to our um, soup. Approximately uh, 10 uh, gallons. And be careful guys, when opening the lid of the uh, kettle, make sure your face is away. Because one time I had an accident when I opened it, my face is right here. Oh, you're gonna burn your uh, face. All right, it's uh, boiling now, it's rapidly boiling. So we can put now our uh, chicken base. All right, this is uh, low sodium. Uh, chicken base. This is a good brand, my dear friends. Miners. Oh, that's a good brand. Okay, so I'm putting it there now. Okay, so you put everything. Because remember, we're making a 
soup good for 120 people so this has to be a little more than it's supposed to okay it's time now to put our chopped garlic in there too I would say about uh, half a cup of uh, garlic okay so let's uh, stir it again We can put in now to our mix uh, cream soup base. All right. So we showed you earlier how to make this. So we mix this with um, cold water. All right. So we're gonna mix it with the soup and make sure you stir it well. So you want to lose lumps in there okay. you know it's like making salad soup needs or require a lot of stirring too my dear friends put your love in there while you're uh, stirring it that's the secret of making a great soup all right put love all right guys so it's about time to put our seasoning first in the list is the chicken seasoning all right just a little bit not so much and then we're gonna also put some um, garlic herb seasoning we get to get the whole thing and uh, thyme okay some uh, thyme here and then Let's uh, mix it again, my dear friends. All right. See, look at it. it. Looks great, right? Yes. Those yellowish uh, color, and of course the cream that we put in there. But uh, don't forget, we still have one uh, ingredient left, which is the heavy whipped cream. So we're gonna put there too. All right, or maybe we can add more milk as well. We're gonna taste it and um, we're just gonna put more just in case uh, we don't need the right taste yet. So it's about time to put our uh, heavy whipped cream. There you go. Mm. That will make our soup real, real creamy. So we're putting two containers of this size. So it's a one quart, so we are putting two quarts of uh, heavy wheat. Alright, let's mix it again. And let's just boil it for uh, another five minutes and let's uh, taste what else uh, we need to put in there, alright? We're almost done, my dear friends. And by the way, this is cream of uh, chicken noodles. So we already boiled some noodles. We're using elbow macaroni here. So we're gonna put that here too in a few moments, all right? So here's our elbow macaroni. It's been uh, boiled and cooked already. So we're gonna put and mix it uh, with our cream uh, soup. There you go. Ah, 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 okay. Let's uh, just cook this uh, noodle along with the uh, cream soup and let's check in a while, alright? Alright, let's check our soup for the final time. There you go, look how creamy it is. There you go. As I said earlier, I don't like my cream soup thick enough. So, uh, it's your choice. Some, some um, cook usually made their uh, cream soup like thick, not me. So, it's your preference, my dear friends. All right, it's about time for us to taste it. And make sure I'm using a disposable spoon here. And make sure whenever you taste your food, don't use the thing that you use in cooking. Make sure it's new ones, clean one, or the best is disposable. So once you taste it, you just uh, throw it away. All right, so let's taste this. Mmm, so yummy and creamy. All right.
right, so uh, we're done, my friends. Let me just put one final uh, uh, ingredient for this, our seasoning. We're gonna be putting uh, parsley flakes, all right? So I'm gonna pour in parsley flakes in there. And then this soup is ready to serve for our lovely residents. Alright, but of course for purposes of presentation, I'm gonna uh, show you a sample uh, serving per person in a few minutes. By the way, my dear friends, if I'm kind of a little strict when it comes to food and temperature handling, is that because I'm a certified food service sanitation manager? And if you're serving others, you have to possess this certificate. And not even those uh, culinary experts can serve and cook food without this certification. So this is our sample uh, bowl, my friend. There you go. Can you see the soup? Creamy soup dropping in there. This presentation again, my dear friends. This is just a sample for a volume uh, cooking as I've shown you. And I hope you join us again next time. And uh, once again, God bless uh, you all.